district is famous for its natural resources and the wars fought over them. Here, the immense bucket wheel excavator is supreme. These are the biggest movable machines on land. If you could put one next to the Statue of Liberty, and you probably couldn't, it would compare like this. If you need one for your backyard, it will set you back $100 million. It will take two years to make the parts, and another two years to build it on site. But it should last you a good 40 years of nearly constant digging. Bucket wheel excavators are coal mining machines. Germany's Rhineland is abundant with underground layers, or seams, of brownish lignite coal. First, the top layers of earth, the overburden, is chewed away. Here you can clearly see the dark coal seam under the sandy overburden. Rolling on its 12 massive crawlers, the excavator couldn't beat an old man pushing a baby stroller. But it digs fast, faster than anything else ever built, because it digs and dumps in a continuous process. The wheel bucket swings on a boom over 100 yards long, making up in reach what it lacks in crawling speed. Such a big machine is controlled by only two persons. These two persons remove more than 200,000 cubic meters of material over three shifts each day. We would need more than 40,000 people with shovels to replace the excavator and to make the same amount of material each day as the excavator does. The coal mined by the bucket wheels is vital to the economy of Germany. It is a homegrown energy source that is burned to create electricity in power plants. To be competitive in the world economy, coal-powered energy must be produced at a rate that compares with the cheap cost of oil from the Middle East and other places. Germany is one of the world's industrial giants, and 25% of its electric power comes from coal-fired plants. To help offset their staggering costs, these excavators are run around the clock in good weather and bad. Both coal and overburden are carried away from the excavators through an astounding system of high-speed conveyors. If you would try to move the material away, which this bucket wheel excavator is producing, you would have to have a new truck there every 15 seconds, and that is just not possible. The conveyor really is at the very core of this business. The overburden is used to fill the mine back in after the coal has been removed. The reason why bucket wheel excavators have really been developed in Germany is the fact that the conditions here are ideal for them. We have a sandy, light, easy to dig overburden. These machines are somewhat restricted as far as the, the hardness of the material they can dig. The prodigious digging power of the wheel bucket excavators helps overcome a major obstacle of the Rhineland coal. The problem, particularly in Germany with the lignite, is rather expensive to mine uh, because of the massive amounts of overburden which have to be moved. The deeper you go, as more overburden you have to remove uh, per uh, cubic meter of lignite, so that makes it uh, less and less efficient.